Well, my name is Magnus Rothman and I work with strategic green space planning and uh, compensation ecosystem services at uh, the city of Stockholm. One example I'd like to talk about is the, the Royal Seaport of Stockholm because that's where we really tried out the Green Space Index for the first time and, and also called the Biotop Area Factor. And it was really, we think, a success because it entailed the, the builders, the contractors, the city planners and it was also the uh, condo associations to come all together to try to find the best solution within a frame that we set up. It must reach a certain Green Space Index, 0.6 as it happens. So that means like you have to provide enough ecosystem services within your courtyard or your, your public area in order to, to reach that level that the city uh, set for you. And actually came out quite imaginative solutions that we didn't think about ourselves. So both like more rigid frames and lots of liberty within. Some of the obstacles we realized as we started this thing was that we need people to start talk more with one another, mostly like the, the, the building companies. Because what happens initially was that they all arrange for their own landscapers, their own, their own planners, and then really see the surrounding courtyards, in this space, case the green space area around it. But so actually it was hard for them to reach that goal that the, the city set for them. Now in the latter phases, we realized they started cooperating more. They even realized, even if they were competitors sometimes, there was also like a friendly challenge. So they realized that let's share our resources. So what happened in practice was they brought in landscapers and biologists to help out with their joint courtyards. That way they were both enabled, or several of them to enabled to reach the goals were set for them. And that seems to be the tra trajectory we're going right now. But we still have initial problems when the landscapers and biologists come in too late in the process. The re we realize we need to have them very early on and that's the way to go forward. I think a good advice would be to, to as many already do, like early stage um, process. I mean like the, the sort of funnel is very wide in the beginning but it narrows down as you go down in the, in the process and timeline. In this case, you need to make sure you get the stakeholders, all of them involved, even the former owners or the, the surrounding older areas of the city need to be there even if you build a new areas, because otherwise you might have problems with acceptance later on in the process. And again, when you have this kind of green space index tool, it's very important to share resources, even if you, you're competing for bids for the city. That way, so everyone wins. It's not a zero-sum game. Mm -hmm.